A cerebral aneurysm is an abnormal bulge or ballooning in the wall of an artery in the brain. The vertebral artery is seen here with its branches, the anterior spinal artery and posterior inferior cerebellar artery, with an aneurysm at its origin. The left and right vertebral arteries are seen with a small aneurysm at the junction of the two vertebral arteries. The basilar artery formed by two vertebral arteries is showing multiple aneurysmal sites at its branches. That is the anterior inferior cerebellar artery, labyrinthine artery, also multiple pontine arteries and the superior cerebellar artery. The site accounting for the highest incidence of aneurysm in the circle of Willis is at the junction of the anterior communicating and anterior cerebral artery which is approximately 40%. Here you see the mentioned aneurysm at the stage of impending rupture. The other common, si common sites include 34% at the bifurcation of middle cerebral artery, 20% at the junction of posterior communicating and internal carotid artery. Now you can visualize some other uncommon sites where aneurysms occur. There are two types of brain aneurysms. Secular aneurysm account for 80 to 90 percent of all brain aneurysms and are the most common cause of non-traumatic subarachnoid hemorrhage. It is also known as a berry aneurysm because they are the size of a small berry. They form at the bifurcation or the Y segment of arteries. It is a neck and stem. Most produce no symptoms until they become large, begin to leak blood or burst. The fusiform aneurysm. Fusiform aneurysm, the less common of the two types, looks like a circumferential outpouching of an arterial wall. The fusiform aneurysm does not have a stem and it seldom ruptures.